Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for another episode of Super Nintendo Entertainment Saturday. Yes. Today we're doing the game Tales of Fantasia, the first game in the Tales series, a very popular series, uh, produced by, well, a bunch of different people. Now Namco has the rights to it, so that's, that's the <laughs> basic thing. Well, how about that? Let's just press start here. Um, it's an RPG, obviously, which is why I'm just going to try to just get into it. Uh, let's see how far we can actually get into it. This game um, never got a... Uh, yeah, you can see there it was uh, 2001 by... It was given, like, a title. Uh, the game, unfortunately, never made it to the U.S. Why am I doing continue? I don't have a save file in this. Uh, the game never made to the U.S. until it was ported um, on uh, the PlayStation. Yeah, let's just go with the yeah. Uh, I think the PlayStation port came first. Uh, it's one. It's it's a uh, yeah. It's got uh, it's got some voice acting, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a very beloved game, though a lot of people like it. Um, it has an interesting battle system, as you can see here. I really like it. Um, the uh, original uh, on the Famicom, Super Famicom, uh, sold a little over 200,000 copies. The uh, PlayStation port of it uh, sold over 750,000 copies. And uh, the Game Boy Advance remake of Tales of Fantasia sold somewhere around, what was it, 250,000? Somewhere. I have the, have the, uh, the Wikipedia over here on my Wii U gamepad, so uh, yeah. It's kind of cool that uh, that it's got the voice acting. You don't see that on many uh, Super Nintendo entertainment games. Super Nintendo Enter. Wow, you don't see that in many Super Nintendo games. Yeah, the PS1 remake was three years after it came out on the Super Famicom, so that was what 98. The Game Boy Advance release was 2003, so it's just a little bit afterwards, just a little bit. The Game Boy Advance remake was 314,000 copies. It says. Um, it was also, it also, uh, was remade for the PSP with a new, like, fully voice acted version, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of sad this never made to the U.S., uh, you know, I don't know why. I guess it was coming out close to the N64, so it was kind of like, eh. There's a lot of good RPGs, JRPGs, whatever. I don't know if this qualifies for JRPG, maybe it does. Uh, that just never, you know, saw the light of day in the U.S. till it was ported or still hasn't seen the light of day or was put in the US and was never remade because of copyright issues sorry but uh, yeah apparently right now we are watching a floating ball of light tell us who uh, was the major character who were the major characters in this game so that's all out of the way um, yeah so apparently this game is awesome <laughs> Uh, sadly, I've never played it. I never had the Game Boy Advance uh, remake. I wanted to get it because I, uh, the first Tales game, actually the only Tales game I have played is Tales of Symphonia, which I loved. Um, maybe, I don't know if I'm going to do a Let's Play of in the future. I haven't beaten it. I got stuck towards the end, like, doing side quests. I tend to do that. Tales of Symphonia is like, one of the few two-disc uh, GameCube games that I've played. So, it's just a long, it's a long game. It's really good if you haven't played it, but yeah. Um, I've watched Tales of Grace's Let's Play by my friend Frozen Train. Um, Tales of uh, the Abyss, I think, came out on the 3DS. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, this, this reminds me of Chrono Trigger a little bit. Uh, a little bit of the graphic style. But then again, it, this isn't an NX game, so I can't really say that. But it's, you know, it's... It's on the Super Famicom, Super, Nin Super Nintendo, so... What? Who are you? What are you doing here? No! Oh, that was him. Okay. Apparently they summoned that guy. And... Or he went there or something, and now they're locking him in a casket. After generations, this curse upon my family finally ends. Yes, you tell that asshole. Maybe these are the people we saw in that battle sequence or something? Who knows? 
Ten years have since passed. I didn't look up the story for this because I don't want to like spoil it for myself. I plan on actually playing this game through on my own. So I, I, want, I want this to be like a first look. So far the music's really nice. Dad, you called me? I'm a father? Kless's father, Miguel. Oh, I'm Kless. Okay, I'm sorry. Wow. That... I'm not, I'm not the father. Okay, I, I'm spacing out. Wow. So, Miguel, how's your mother doing today? She's doing much better. Her fever's gone. She should be fine in a day or two. Good. I'm glad she's doing better. I need to talk about the pendant. <clears throat> my pendant? The one you gave me for my birthday? <laughs> wow. Here, <clears throat> let me introduce plot device. What about it? No, we do. Chester. Hey, Amy, I'm going to hunting today. Is Claire's going too? Can I come too? Sorry, Amy, you're still too young. Be a good girl. I don't know why I gave Chester that voice. Be a good girl. Wait here for me to come back, okay? Well, okay. Be careful, Chester. I will. See you later, sis. We have parents. That's not good. Uh, it's an RPG. And as we all know, if you have parents in RPG... They're probably gonna die. There's a good chance that within the next 10 to 15 minutes, my parents are gonna die in a horrible accident. Is that Chester's voice coming from outside? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to go hunting with Chester. Ah, I see. We'll talk about it over dinner. Okay, I'll see you then. Good luck, son. Master Tristan. Tristan? Oh, so we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh now. Okay. You're more than welcome to stay here with us as long as you like. Thank you kindly, Sir Miguel. I'm glad to know someone in this house. I'm glad someone in this house knows how to train. Whatever. What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, I'm late, Chester. Master Tristan came by the house. Wait, Mom, you're still sick. Get back to bed. You're gonna die soon. Oh, so it's Miguel and Maria. Okay, I know. <laughs> I'm just worried this area isn't safe anymore. Mom, Chester's coming with me. Will be fun. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, don't worry, Miss Alvain. We'll be back with plenty of food. You just need to be rested so you can cook it all. Because you're the woman. Alright, just please be careful. I'll take these with you. Your mom, uh, yay, apple gummies. I can feed them to my Pokemon and their uh, intelligence will grow. Their IQ. But no, this isn't a mystery dungeon. That's just silly. Okay, so... Controls... Yeah, yeah, I have a start menu. Uh, custom. I like to... Message speed. Okay, uh... Accept, cancel, menu, target. Okay. Sounds monasterio, battle on, targeting, semi-auto. Okay, voices are on. Okay, that looks good. The level one. It's good. I always find it weird when you have games where, like, the character starts off at a level other than one. Like, Final Fantasy VII, what do you start off at, like... I don't know, five or seven or something like that. It's, it's like weird. Like, what's the point in having lower levels, you know? So I'm just gonna explore around here. Because there's always stuff to look at. Like you. Hi. Are you guys going hunting today? Swords aren't only. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can, like, look through drawers in this game. I'm just. You know what? That's what I usually do when I play RPGs, but. Uh, to be entertaining, let's. If this is a let's play, I would explore the town or whatever, but this is just the first look. Let's just head out into the forest like a bunch of idiots. Because that's fun! And since this is going to be an RPG video, it's also going to be a little longer than usual. Um, ah, you don't know how much it hurts for me not to talk to everybody here. I, I love RPGs and I love doing typical RPG activities like, are you two leaving? I'm sorry. Are you two leaving? <laughs> that surprised me. We're going hunting. I see. Have fun and good luck. Where are you headed, Tristan? I'm going to the old age home. Apparently, they're committing me forever. Well, how about that? Hey, Tristan. Were you a hero of legend or something? Okay, so it's a nice world map. Do we have, uh said we're going to the forest, but... Okay, so we have random encounters on the world map, and we get to look at the... 
Okay, I... Wow. I kind of like this battle system. Uh, it's active. Uh, the screen is... Uh, it's, it's a long screen, and um, you can... Uh, you use attacks kind of like in Tales of Symphonia, I guess. Can I not attack that guy? Ow. Stupid owl. I'll have to be underneath him. Mr. Owl, how many steps does it take to get to the center of your death? Yeah, that was a little short, a little too late for that, but you know what I mean. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, there's a house there. Must explore. Oh God, Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to the gets to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. Stab. Nope. Guess we'll never know, cause you're dead. Okay, so it's kind of nice. I'm a swordsman. I'm kind of like the meat shield for Chester, who's the uh, archer. And it's kind of nice that I can still hit the enemies. I don't know if I could poison bolt. That was cool. So you can pause and like do stuff in the game. So uh, in the battles. So that's good. Um, where am I? It's locked. Oh, I guess. Ooh, that is a nice touch. You do not see that in a lot of games. I am I am actually really impressed. Run! Run yourself! That dog is fully voice acted by an actual voice actor. Yep. It's totally not a sound effect. Ooh! It's a secret? It's not really a secret. You know what? This doesn't really look like a cave either. Uh, a I have a feeling I'm gonna die. Or maybe it's just a skeleton. Okay, that's really cool. I just hold the A button down and I stab him and I run away. Oh, watch out, Chester, watch out, watch out. Ow. Well, I die. I'm a ghost! That's adorable! There we go. Uh, item? Apple gummy? Chester? No, okay. Um, no. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay dead. Chester, you finish off that guy, right? You can do it. You can do it, right? 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 No, we're dead. Wow. I have a feeling I shouldn't be here yet. Their deaths mark the end for all hopes and dreams. We didn't even get... We weren't even told that we have to save the world yet. How do you know that game? Okay, so, yeah, I guess you have to start off with the last save file. Uh, okay. I have to remember to save, then. I don't like games like that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the, uh, part where we're, we're leaving town. The sky is blue and all the leaves are green. Okay, so, well, we're back here. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, now Tristan's gonna be like, Are you two leaving?! Seriously, what's wrong with your voice, sir? <laughs> Let's go in a different direction this time, maybe. We said we were going to head out hunting, so maybe we go this way. <laughs> yeah. We could have avoided a lot of stuff. There's a boar. Oh, that's so cute. Let's follow it. What could possibly go wrong? Like that. But yeah, I, I kind of really like the battle system here. You stab and you run away. You stab and I kill it. Okay, the enemies here are just a tad bit easier than they were on the... I actually really like this for... Uh, I mean, the phrase I really like this for Super Nintendo graphics means almost nothing to me because I, I love Super Nintendo graphics. I mean, like, compared to games like today or whatever, this holds up really well. Um, the character sprites are, are really nice. I, th I remember reading something about this being like the first Super Nintendo, uh, the first Super Nintendo game with a uh, 48 megabit cartridge or something. I don't, I don't know. I I'm assuming that's that's something. Psion Bolt. Yay! I love Psion Bolt. I like how they didn't have characters, but I I just I like that so much. The the reflection. The Pokemon games didn't get that to, like, what, Ruby and Sapphire? You know? It's just cool. It's it's really nice. Uh, my mom was just delivering me lunch. That's very nice. Uh, but yeah, I 
just from like the I mean I, I kind of expected to like this there's there's very few RPGs that I despise you know upon first playing it I even like the Sailor Moon game and that's scary um, but even with just like a first look at this game I'm really enjoying it um, it's it's a great atmosphere like the the music in this dungeon right here is just really beautiful take a look around could have sworn I saw it come this way. It's a giant burned tree. That can't be important. Oh, we're gonna get the sword of mana, right? It's the mana tree, right? Right? No, it's just a ghost. Please, Kles. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a girl. He must protect this tree. We must protect this house. Oh, now it's alive again. Cool. Cool. Ooh, that smells good. I got pizza. Matzo pizza. Hmm? No luck finding anything? What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, get it! Because cause we did. I don't know if you guys caught that, but we actually did see a ghost, so... Uh, get it? <laughs> There it is! Oh, what? It's attacking us! This is boss time? It's boss time! Oh, you're adorable. You're adorable. Eh. You know what? One second. Tactic? Chester... Go berserk! Um, no. Magic... Form? Can I... I can't... I can't have... Oh, okay. No, I'm just uh, just trying to figure out like how everything goes here. Um, okay, so what's B? B is nothing. Okay. Um, so I just kind of kind of gotta kill this guy. How do I, I don't know if I can make Chester? Yay! Use the uh, poison bolt. I don't know if he just does that on his own or whatever. Maybe I have to program into him. This is the biggest animal we've ever killed. Am I eating it already? No. There's be plenty of eating. Let's head home. What is that? That's the village alarm! So, did I call it or did I call it? I bet you our parents are dead. I'm not gonna stop the video. I gotta see. Yes, because I'm, I'm just... I love, I love trying to see if my parents are dead. God forbid. Hello. Is it, what are you? Tree of Life. Never harm the face dire consequences. Euclid Travel Council. Okay, that's cool. I guess we head out of here. You know what? I'll meet you at the end of this uh, at the end of this uh, forest because it's probably gonna take me a while to get there with random battles and stuff. So hold on. Okay, here we are. So let's see what horrible thing is going on in our town. Oh my, what happened? Oh god, Amy, I have to find her! Yeah, you go find her. She's probably dead too. Everybody's dead. You know who did this? Tristan did. He left very conveniently. May your soul rest in peace. Oh, that's so nice of you. Who could slaughter an innocent child? That's just wrong. Yes. Don't check if they're alive or anything, just assume that they're dead. You're very polite, you know that? Dad! I called it. Yep, I called it. It's an RPG. Mom! And they were all just two days away from retirement. <sighs> Don't die! Run right away. Go north to Euclid and see your uncle. They... Your plot device is... They who? Who did this? Mom, open your eyes, please. <laughs> Don't leave me. No!
No, oh, not Amy. Chester, I'm so sorry. It's too dangerous to go alone to- oh, sorry, it's too dangerous to stay here. Let's go to my uncle's place. That music. I can't leave Amy and the other villagers like this. Amy was the only family I had, Kles. Look, I'm staying. If you leave, if you leave, you leave alone. I have to make sure they all get a proper burial. Burial. Even if I have to do it myself, they at least deserve that much. You know what? I applaud this game because when your whole village is destroyed and you run away in, in the, the typical JRPG, who buries the bodies? You just you 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 leave them lying out there like the creds that you are for the ravens and the you know all the wolves to eat. Chester's actually being nice. The people who did this return, I don't want to lose you too. Sorry, class, but I can't. I have morals unlike you, you spoiled little brat. It's dangerous for us both to stay. I promise, someday you and I will fight side by side again, and we'll find who did this. Alright, goodbye, my friend. May you rest in peace. Aww. How's that for an opening to a game? It's pretty good. That music is perfect. Um, that's gonna do it for, uh, of course it's raining too. The, your pendant, I'm sorry, your plot device is... Oh, uh, yo, so we, when we use this on the transportation device, it'll send us back in time about s s 400 years, right? Nope, wrong game. My pendant, my father gave this to me. It's like he knew that the plot device was going to kill him once it left his hands. Gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. Of course it's raining, because everybody knows. How did they get, th I guess, in between scenes or whatever. Forever together, yet forever alone. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. It's a sad note to end it on, but, um... That's how these, that's, I've played this JRPG before, as, as they say. Um, I actually have it, that, it's a phrase, as in, well, I saw that coming. So, uh, I'm gonna play this game my own time, I suggest you do too, because this looks really fun. Thank you very much for watching, and, uh, goodbye everybody. Bye bye